Cabello and I over the past year have, uh, as non-academics, tried to learn as much about what's really keeping us apart and what are some of the problems uh, that South Africans are facing today. We come from different places. I mean, I don't even think it was the same country in many respects back then. But in spite of, I guess, this huge chasm that existed between us, we've been able to form a friendship, a successful partnership. And I think the thing that Cabello and I are most well known for um, is this. And I think that's where our mission of being active citizens began. You know, that's where we no longer wanted to just be on the sidelines as spectators. We, you know, we both very passionate South Africans and we wanted to make a difference. So Shout was the beginning of our journey together. But we also don't have our heads in the sand. You know, we understand that there's a few roadblocks in our way. Uh, there's a few things hindering us, or quite a lot, you know, uh, some might argue that hinder us from getting to the South Africa we believe um, exists. And over the next couple of minutes, we're just going to be um, unpacking what some of those roadblocks are that stand in our way. First up, stereotypes. We've uh, all heard of that you know, young black professional who gets pushed up to a top managerial position in a company. And the stereotype goes, it's a BEE placement, or it's some filling of some quota system, and that has got absolutely nothing to do with capacity and merit. Now, how does that stereotype affect the person in question? It breeds anger, it breeds resentment, and the worst of all, I think, is that the person doesn't bring their full self to work. And who gets affected at the end of the day? The company. What is an unconscious bias? Well, simply put, an unconscious bias is when your, your brain or your mind fast tracks itself to a conclusion that impacts negatively on a person or a group, right? So you're pretty much on autopilot without you even knowing because of the biases that we, we hold within ourselves. And all we say, you know, is not to grovel at the feet of people, uh, not to feel guilty for the privileges that, uh, that you have, but please recognize it. Recognize that you have this privilege. Appreciate it. And wherever you can, whenever you can, please pay it forward. It's a life principle that I believe in, and I think when it comes to racism uh, and dealing with racism, I believe it too, as Albert Einstein says. If you're silent, you are complicit. So you've got to stand up there and be a voice in the darkness, and really, really, you know, make a stand. You have to see color because when you, when you see me as a black man, what you're actually doing is you recognizing the very real and different experience I'm having different to yours in this country. And Mendoza put it so beautifully, you know, this quote, I always remember from him, you know, as only Mendoza could say, it. simple, effective, crisp, clean, beautiful. You've got your culture. I've got my culture, dog. You know, that's what he would say. That's what he would say. To and he said so much in so, in so little words. Because people build community. People build companies. And for great companies and communities to be built, people need to come together. And only then can we go from being worlds apart to partners.